Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. By the time this video is up, this document will be back up online. It is completely editable. What, what does that mean? That means that you will be able to edit every single section on the document. Okay? That's what it means. The only thing you will not be able to do a lot of editing to is things like this. You'll have to literally add in the sections for you to put the box because because of it being brought over this way, those boxes are no longer checkable. But these sections are editable. Okay? There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the document, even these boxes, just uh, what you do with this. If you have an editable software like this one, you just, like I do, select. And what I do is I click here. And this box is just a box where I just took the X's and I filled in the blanks for you. For you! Because what it says, several occasions that these things happen on several occasions. I will try to get to the one on the mortgages later. Just bear with me. Um... Were they witnesses? Yep, they sure was. Did someone suffer harm? Oh, I sure did suffer some harm. Uh, physical injuries or harm? Oh, you better believe mental injury is a physical injury. Y'all better believe I suffered some mental stress. Did anyone complain? Oh, shoot. You better believe I complain because that's all I do is complain. Verbal or in writing? Oh, I did it in both. You better believe I'm going verbal and in writing a complaint. Shoot. Are you willing to testify? Man, on the Bible! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically how that works. All of the areas are editable, including this. These case laws are still viable. Again, I'm not a stickler for case law because that purports to support their idea that their junk is case law. There's no such thing as case law. Judges are not allowed to do law. Now, the term misconduct and disability, as used in this complaint process, are defined by law. Misconduct is conduct prejudicial to the effect of the expedious administration of the business of the court and the upholding of the sanctity and obligations of the Bill of Rights as prescribed by the oath of office of the appointed officer. There'll be a video up very soon that will go through an individual processing going to the court and dealing with a case and the first thing the individual asked the judge excuse me I'd like to ask a question judge says go ahead he says I take it you have an oath of office and because I believe you have an oath of office and I'm going to rely upon that belief um, I just want to go ahead and let you know that not only do I accept and acknowledge your oath of office, but I'm going to hold you to that oath of office. You're under oath. Please take judicial notice. Nobody pays attention. Judges are under oath. Judges are under oath when they're sitting on that bench wearing that robe. They have taken an oath of office to uphold the Constitution. Well, the Constitution is written by the people for the people and other people. Ladies and gentlemen, Constitution is a, pay attention, permanent injunction and or restraining order against government. That's why the Civil Rights Act of 1866 is your best friend. If you ain't read it, you better go read it. If you got anybody in jail, you better go read it. By the way, somebody, uh, I gotta get it again, but the International Treaty on civil and political rights international it's the international convention icc pr international convention on civil and political rights you got somebody in jail that's their best friend president clinton believe it was 1996 signed an executive order putting the united states under obligation to that treaty and other civil rights treaties with the United Nations. Okay, so I guess he was the black people's president. 
anyway, uh, take a look at those things, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, as I said, this item is completely lit, 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 lit. And this right here, all I do is fill in. Fill in. You can change the font, but I put it at 10. Readable and legible. Okay. All three boxes. Four boxes. Sorry. Four boxes. Four, 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 four boxes. Okay. And then there's your giraffe. Yay! It's done. And watch this. Save! It's going to be called a template. Judicial alleged criminal complaint. That's this one. This is the editable one. It's not locked. Don't have a lock on it. All right, gotta go. Take care. Don't say I ain't never done nothing for you.